Hello, my friends. We will continue our journey through the Valley of the Shadow of Statistics and examining the normal distribution curve. The purpose of this video is to help us learn to read z-score tables. And reading z-score tables uh, is pretty interesting. Uh, do you remember this uh, particular diagram from a previous lecture? In it, we have the bell curve. This is obviously the standard normal distribution. We know that because it is centered on zero, and the standard deviation is, is equal to one. Now, you remember finding this because you knew that there was 50% on this side. You knew that there was 34% from here to here, so that was 84%, and that looks pretty easy. Well, these types of areas are very easy to analyze, when they fall exactly on a standard deviation. The problem is, what if it doesn't fall on a standard deviation? What if it fell on something like 1.37? How then would we find the area uh, to the left of that particular boundary? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to need a table to give us that area. Here is the table. Uh, the table is designed to give you the area to the left of the z-score. It is a standard normal distribution table. These are the initial z-scores given down to the, the whole number in a tenth. Then it adds in a hundredth. So if we were to look uh, for a z-score, I want you to see that it goes from the z-score itself, the area to the left, it gives you all the area to the left, and if we want to look for, say, 1.37, we notice that there's nowhere on this table that you see 1.37. What you do see is that 1.37 is 1.3 plus 0 0.07. So what we would do is we would go across and read across 1.3. We will underline that. We would go to 0 0.07 and come down. And lo and behold, look at this. The z-score for the area to the left of a z of 1.37 is 0.9147. Or actually, we could say 91.47% of the area lies to the left of a z-score equal to 1.37. Uh, let's try another z-score just a minute. Now, we had the positive z-score tables. Now we have the negative z-score tables. And you remember the z-score is the negatives are to the left of the mean, the positives are to the right. Let's take the value of negative 2.47. Again, there is nowhere that we see a negative 2.47, but if we look at that and break it down to fit this, we see negative 2.4 right here. We see 0 0.07 right there, so all we have to do is underline from uh, negative 2.4, come down to 0 0.07, and lo and behold, we now have our value, 0 0.0068. And what 0 0.0068 actually is, is 0.68%. Actually, under 1% of the data lie to the left of the z-score of negative 2.47. Now, when reading a z-score table, you follow a plan. And first of all, determine if you have a positive or a negative z-score because that determines the table that you're going to use and you select the proper table. The divide the number into two values. Uh, value 1 has a whole number and a decimal. Value 2 has a decimal, a zero, and a number. Locate the first value on the left, which is over here. Identify the next value at the top. The area is the intersection of these two values. So that really ought not to be too bad. So I want to thank you very much for your support. You should be able to read tables now. You have a great day.